Hey everyone, Kevin here from River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a halftone effect in Adobe Photoshop. So, let's get started. Alright, so here in Photoshop, the first thing that we're going to do in order to create our halftone effect is go up to File, New, and create a new document. I'm just going to make mine 1000 by 1000 and click OK. So today I'm going to be showing you basically two different halftone effects. One is what I'm calling basically halftone elements where you draw out your own selection and then you create a halftone within that area so you can kind of pick and choose what shape and size you want your halftone to be. And then the other one is going to actually be bringing in an image and then taking and creating a halftone over the image basically making the image out of dots um, of varying sizes almost um, like the halftone comic book effect. So um, basically we're just going to start with creating the elements and so in order to do that I'm just going to unlock my background by double clicking it, go down and create a new layer, just a transparent layer, and then I'm just going to take and grab my rectangular marquee tool and I'm just going to drag out a selection. Now I'm just going to make my um, half tone effect to go from left to right here within this selection. So I'm just going to drag that out. Now once I'm done with that, um, the next thing that I need to do is take and go over to my gradient tool in my toolbar and then go up to the top and click on where you can basically select your colors. So now you might see your gradient um, being basically your foreground or background colors, um, which mine are right now red and black. You might see it black to white, you might see it white to black. Um, what you want to see is the black on the left and the white on the right. Now this isn't quite right. Um, we need to have it be black to transparent. So in order to make it be uh, transparent on one side, we need to click on this little black slider at the very top of the white side. And I'm just going to turn this opacity slider down all the way to zero. So now we basically have it going from black to transparent. Um, and so that's going to help us create our halftone. So I'm just going to click OK. Now I'm just going to now drag out while holding shift across my selection. And it's going to fill in just within this area um, that gradient. So now you can see black to white, um, but it's technically black to transparent because if we turn off our white background, you can see that it disappears. Um, and you can see through it. So now what we need to do is basically um, select your gradient layer. So make sure that you're on the right layer and go up to filter, down to pixelate, and go to color halftone. So that'll bring up this dialog box here. Now you want to make sure that all of your channels are on zero for this one because we're just dealing with um, black and white. We don't have to deal with any color so I'm just going to leave all those at zero. Now you can adjust your max radius and what this is going to do is basically the halftone effect creates circles, black and white um, circles, and this controls the radius of those circles. So if you want small halftones um, or small halftone circles then you're going to want to go with something smaller like 7. Um, but you can also take and go with something larger like 15 to get less circles and kind of larger coverage. So I'm just going to go with that and we'll see what that looks like. So you can see now we've created our halftone effect here. So that's looking pretty cool. Now you can take, since we put this on its own layer and we made a selection out of it, you can move this around and incorporate it however you want into your piece. So that's pretty cool. Um, one other thing I want to show you is that you can do um, basically halftone effects within other shapes um, besides just the uh, just the rectangular marquee tool. You want to make sure and create a new layer and you want to make sure that you make that layer white, um, especially for if you're using the circular um, or elliptical marquee tool. So now basically we have just a, a white circle or a white, um, a white new layer and we're going to take and drag out our elliptical marquee over the top of this. Okay, So once we've done that we can go up to refine edge up at the top and we're just going to turn our feathering up and I'm just going to put it somewhere probably towards the middle and click OK. So now you're not really going to see any difference here but this circle now has feathering applied to it. So now I'm just going to get blacked as my foreground color. Hit Alt Delete in order to fill that layer and you can see that we kind of get um, some nice fuzziness on the edge there. Um, you can turn it up a little bit more if you'd like uh, depending on how much of the halftone effect you actually want to um, encroach on your circle. So now that you have this make sure that layer is selected. Go up to Filter and since we've already used halftone, we can just do color halftone. And you can see that now we have a pretty cool halftone effect in a circular pattern. So again, depending on how much feathering you have depends on how um, far out these dots actually go. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now you can create all kinds of different halftone effects in different shapes. So the last part of this tutorial is going to actually be pulling in an image. So I'm just going to go to my desktop here. And I'm just going to drag this down to Photoshop. 
and we'll just put it up here towards the top so it opens in a new file. So this is the image we have here. Now in order to create a halftone out of an image, we need to get this to black and white. You can use color with it, um, but I think it actually turns out better um, with black and white. So what I'm going to do is just um, unlock the background. I'm going to take and go to hue and saturation in my adjustment layers. And I'm just going to drag the saturation all the way down and that's going to make this black and white. So now if you have more than one layer, you can clip this by holding alt and clicking in between these layers so it only applies it to this particular layer. So now we also need to add um, a brightness and contrast layer because we want to make sure that our um, contrast is a little bit higher for this because again we're creating it out of basically black and white circles so the more contrast there is the better result typically you're going to get. So I'm just going to add in that brightness and contrast and now you can see that we've greatly increased the contrast there so we'll get a better variation between our circles for our halftone effect. So this is before and after those have been applied. So now make sure you go back down and click on your actual image layer and now we can go up to filter and I'm just going to go to pixelate color halftone and turn this down. Um, we want this one to be a little bit lower so I'm just going to put it at maybe 7 and click OK. So now you can see it looks pretty wild from back here. Uh, if you zoom out further you can actually see the picture. Um, but basically what it's done is it's taken and created the entire image out of these circles. Um, so you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller uh, depending on what you're wanting. Um, this is a pretty big image so that's why at when you can actually see the whole thing it looks pretty weird. Um, you probably wouldn't use this over an entire image but you'd use it kind of as an element. Um, but I just wanted to give you an example that you can you can then take and pen tool around say just the background and you can have the halftone effect back there or whatnot. Um, so now once you have this you might actually want to put a color behind it and you'd think maybe you could just take and drag a color behind this um, just by making a new layer and we'll select a color say we want it to be like a, a tan or something like that and then fill our layer. So you can see we have a tan layer over here um, but the background isn't tan. Um, and the reason for this is because you still have white um, being filled in between all of these black circles. So now you can take and mess with your blending modes to um, on this actual image layer to either lighten um, to remove the white or you can take and do screen to remove the black and then you can see you can get different effects um, by scrolling through your blending modes. Um, now this might not be the best effect for you because it kind of um, takes out quite a bit of data um, so you can actually just have it shine through if we go back to normal we can since um, this is just black and white again grab our magic wand tool here we can grab the white and then we want to do a select inverse in order to just get the black and then we can take and create a layer mask on our image and so now we'll retain the black and we'll lose all of the white and then the color that we have below that will shine through and then you can do all kinds of things um, with gradients or um, just changing different shades and things underneath here depending on what you want underneath the image. So now you have a pretty cool halftone effect um, that you might see in comic books and other styles like that. So this is a pretty specific style, um, but you can create it in Photoshop, and it turns out pretty cool um, when used appropriately. So hope you guys learned something uh, in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I do have a new video coming out every week. So thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial.